another episode of Buzz and Suds. Whale Killer Night continues. Uh, this one I brought is Rum Barrel Age Black Tuesday from 2014. I've been dying to try it. Um, still haven't tried the regular Black Tuesday, but I've heard this one's awesome. Uh, it is 18.9%, 18.9%, huge beer. I had to share this one. There's no way that you could drink this by yourself uh, and remember to tell about it. So let's do this. I'm All right. dying to try it. So pour is pretty black. You can see a little brown through the edge. And as I mean, we've we've done some oh, brewery. Holds. Yeah, it holds, but you know, it kind of has that thin look to it. It, it does. does. It does. Uh, these beers, for as big as they are, they still universally almost have that little bit of thin quality to them. But I've had Mocha Wednesday, but you've had the Black Tuesday. Yeah, and it's just like this. Yeah, okay. absolutely, just like this. So, all right, let's um, get the All right, I'm done. Oh man, you know, not as boozy I thought it would be. Just yeah. Big sweet chocolate, bittersweet yeah. chocolate on that. I did. I mean, I did get some boozy. Some rum barrel, yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to tell it's from rum barrel. No, just some booze, yeah. Just more of a, <laughs> more of a, a sweet note. Yeah. Uh, Off camera, actually. Yeah. We're at a show. Yeah. You can just, yeah. I do get big chocolate though. Okay, we're about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we did the review a couple, eight or nine in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that is super sweet rum. I love that. Big chocolate. Um, you know. More dark fruit. Wow. I get more mouthfeel than I thought I would. I do too. I expected, just looking at it, I thought it yeah, was like order like. But, no. Oh. Definitely like syrupy. That is thick. Big syrup. And it's big sweetness. Again, y'all know, I said it over and over, I love sweet sour. This one is definitely sweet. I wouldn't say cloying. I like the sweetness of it. I love this. So, compare this to uh, the vanilla bean dark wood. I mean, that, I thought this one may be a little sweeter than that. Yeah, I think maybe so. Maybe because of the rum barrels. I mean, that adds some sweetness to mm -hmm. it. Um, it's been so long since I've had Pirate Bomb. I, I don't think I could compare, but I love this. This is awesome. Definitely like that rum and like a brown sugar sweetness. It's yeah. kind of that caramel. Yeah. Get some caramel notes. But I love this. I really love this. I don't get much roasted flavor. I don't get any roasted flavor. No, no, no. No bitter. No bitter in this thing. No bitter chocolate. This is sweet, yeah, desserty I mean, chocolate. Again, we were drinking like four ounce pours. It's probably about what you want to drink. I mean, you can, or you can sip on it for a long time, but you know, in the setting. Yeah. It's not something you want to pound. It's definitely got the booziness. It's definitely got the raw yeah. booziness. It's good booziness, I think. Um, oh, I'm just getting the almost sugar on the Oh, man. It is super sweet. Yeah. Wow, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, so if, if I said that this was a barley wine, I mean, as sweet okay. as barley wines were. I wouldn't argue with you. Yeah, it'd be hard to argue that. I mean, it doesn't look like it. And it has that caramel, and like you said, it has a little bit of like a raisin. Yeah, I get the dark to it. Oh, this is just. Yeah, that's a good point. If you would have called this a, just a great barrel aged barley wine, I wouldn't have. Like, if you said this was like Bourbon Bar Bar County Barley Wine. Right. Or a King Henry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh. Um, that's a good point. Mm. Obviously not as dark as King Henry, but just mm. get that deep dark. You're reason. right. It definitely does. I mean, this is that's a good point. This is that's an excellent. Awesome. I mean, this I, I, I don't know if I want to give it a four seven five or five. I'm in a four seven five. I agree with that. Are you okay? Four seven five or five? Oh, uh, you're up at five. I didn't realize. No, I didn't know that was on my four seven five. This, this is we get King Henry at five. Yeah, right. We've had a lot of really awesome things since then. Uh, I, I don't think I can give it a five. I would pay extra for this. Well, what would just, make this better? A little more mouth I don't know. It's pretty syrupy for goodness right now. I think if I got more yeah. rum on the nose. Okay. I mean, I get a little booziness, but I couldn't tell you if it was yeah. rum. I just. Is, and again, I will preface this. I know a lot of people are not a huge sweet stout fan. It's not your cup of tea if this is not what you're looking for. You like the sweetness? Like I did. Yeah. This Fire, is Fire beware. This is perfect. It's, uh, it's 19%. Gosh. Yeah, it's big. Super Thank big. Thank you for bringing this. No, no problem. I'm gonna stick with a 475, right. but it's borderline up there. Yeah, 475 I think is a strong mark. It's I would pay extra, I would seek it out. Um, but I do like the sweet stouts too. This is good. And it's not like a, a black dose sweet stout either. This yeah. is just a sweet style with so much sugar and so much malt and so much alcohol that it just blends perfect. Yeah. All right, we'll do four seven fives. We'd love it. 
tree, search it out, straight up. Get this one, we need some more variants. Yeah, we'll see you after another half an hour. We're gonna have to sip on this one. This is a sipper. Yep, absolutely. Anything else? Mm -hmm. As always, if you can't have the you love, love the you have, thanks. Bye.